Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about today's battle of unbeaten heavyweights. Unbeaten Richard Towers against unbeaten Lucas Brown. Now, my point to you is you're not going to get rich off this play. We're talking about a small rate of return here. But there's a high probability of getting the profit. So we're going to take it. All I'm saying to you is if you're a stock market investor, how often are you going to be able to make, let's say, 5 to 10 percent in one day? Let's talk about this fight. Here's what I think you need to know. Richard Towers is tall. He's 6'8", but he's not defensively gifted. He's a knockout artist with a greater than 70% KO ratio, but he doesn't know how to pace a fight, nor does he know how to clinch. So if you look at the film of his fight against Gregory Tony, you're going to see that when he got in trouble, he was vulnerable. Right? Were Tony a better finisher, Tony could have ended that fight. Right? Tall guys need constructs to protect themselves because there's a lot to hit. Right? So, tall fighters like a Vitaly Klitschko or like a Vladimir Klitschko will have jabs, will know how to roll with punches, will know how to avoid getting hit, will know how to tie up guys who get inside. In my opinion, Richard Towers, who many of you have privately touted to me, lacks many of these skills, right? The problem with being a home run hitter is that you forget how to hit singles, right? You forget how to work the count to get walks. Richard Towers is, in my opinion, that untested home run hitter. He knocks you out. It looks great. I understand he trains with people like the haymaker, David Hay. He's in the right circles. Good for him. But he won't have me convinced until he shows me he knows how to clinch. He knows how to keep fighters off of him. He knows how to protect himself a little bit better. Now, Lucas Brown, in my opinion, a little bit more advanced, huge puncher, has an 88% knockout ratio. Now think about it. This fight, curiously, is a 12-round fight according to BoxRec.com. 12 rounds. So you have two big punchers in there for the KO. And you have at least one guy who, in my opinion, has defensive problems. I like both by KO Let's talk about the math. And as I said at the start of this video, you're not going to get rich off of this fight, but you should make a nice small profit. Lucas Brown is 4-7 to seven to win by KO. Richard Towers is 5-2 to two to win by KO. Now, just doing the math, and you can fool around with the you know, with the fractions, you can also go to oddschecker.com to see which casinos are offering which odds. My point to you, just fractionally, is if you bet seven on Brown and three on Towers at these odds, you'll profit if either gets the stoppage. I just don't see how this fight goes 12 rounds. Right, a 70% KO ratio against an 88% KO ratio, somebody is getting knocked out. Understand, too, this is not the lightweight division. This is the heavyweight division, right? You want to profit if either gets the stoppage. That's how I see it. Understand, though, that there are certain dynamics in play here, right? Lucas Brown is traveling to Richard Towers' backyard for the fight. Right? Richard Towers is very hyped in the United Kingdom. Right? So the crowd I'm expecting is going to be gung-ho Richard Towers. 
but consider me to be from the Azuma Nelson School of Boxing. I think what that's going to do is that's going to place more pressure on Towers to trade with Brown, just like being in Denver. Place more pressure on Mile High Mike Alvarado a couple weeks ago to trade with Richland Provotnikov. Expect an explosive fight that does not go the distance. Somebody is getting knocked out. I believe that Lucas Brown is properly the favorite in this fight. But as I said before, understand both guys can win this fight by KO. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.